I'm going to kick things off this week with a story about one of my favourite places to be, and that is on a coral reef. Now, anyone else who's been lucky enough to visit one will know that they come packed with colourful creatures and colourful fish. And now a new study reveals that some of those fish send out private messages using patterns of ultraviolet light that us humans and many other animals can't see. Well, it can be very important for fish to be able to tell the difference between different species, especially when it comes to damselfish. These feisty tiddlers defend their farms of seaweed from intruders, and the worst kind of intruder is a member of the same species because they can come along and strongly compete for food and mates. Now, Ulrika Seebeck from the University of Queensland in Australia led a team of researchers with the enviable task of studying two species of damselfish on the Great Barrier Reef, and they've discovered that the Ambon damselfish, a small yellow fish, can read secret facial patterns of UV spots and stripes. To tell one species from another, is it not obvious? Are there not big, gross morphological differences between one species and another? No, these two actually,、uh, certainly to a human eye,、um, look very similar. Really, I think we'd have a tough time telling them apart. If you got it under a microscope, you'd, you'd be able to pick it out. But essentially, the colour in our visual range is very similar. What the team did was they presented a wild Ambon damselfish with two other damselfish inside clear plastic tubes. This was in the wild on the reef.、Um, one of them was. The same species, and the other one was this other species, the lemon damselfish. And、uh, under normal light conditions, the Ambon damselfish is preferred attacking other Ambons, so racing towards them and saying, "You know, off you go!" And if you've ever seen a damselfish in the wild, you'll know they are quite feisty for their size. They do, they think they can take on divers, which is quite fun. Anyway, what they also did was they put these fish inside plastic tubes that blocked UV light, so that those UV patterns weren't visible to the fish. And when that happened, they had no preference for a fish of the same species or of the other species, showing that it probably is quite important to be able to see UV. They also went into the lab and、uh, trained these damselfish using food rewards to distinguish between drawings of these UV face patterns. So really, together, these findings indicate that these Ambon damselfish. Fish can see these intricate UV patterns, and they probably use them to recognise faces of other fishes. UV makes a really ideal secret signal because not many other fish can actually see it. It's, it's got a very short wavelength,、um, which means it's quite easily scattered in water, making it actually not that useful for very precise vision, and certainly over a longer distance. And very long-lived predators often actually protect their eyes from UV damage. That's what we do a lot、um, uh, with our eyes,、um, and we screen out a lot of the UV.、Um, and this means that damselfish can communicate with each other, find mates, and warn each other to keep their distance. Without ruining that camouflage against predators, because the predators can't see it. And next, the team、uh, want to dive deeper into the UV vision of various fish to find out how far they can see, and perhaps to see whether they can distinguish not just between different species. But also between individual fish as well, and wouldn't that be wonderful? You could see your mate across the reef <laughs> based on the patterns on his face. There's quite a number of fish that take advantage of the fact that other species see slightly different range of the of the spectrum, aren't there? Because deep sea fish use essentially red light as an invisible flashlight. That's right. That's really why the sea is blue because the red light gets absorbed very quickly. So if you can emit or detect red light, you've got a really great secret wavelength as well. So yes, take advantage of the secret signals, and you can do very well.